It is Thursday and I'm setting up for a cake smith session right here. Afterwards, I have a newborn session um, and I want to show you a DIY project today. So I hope I have enough time in between to show you and I hope I have all the supplies here. Um, it's going to be a really cool basket, uh, which I'm going to use for my newborn sessions and sitter sessions as well. Uh, but first, I'm going to set up everything for the cake smash. So this is the decor for today. Um, by the way, yeah, I got the questions whether I always throw away my backdrop after using it for a cake smash session. Uh, just to clarify, I never throw away my backdrop after a cake smash session. It's not paper, it is like a vinyl. Um, so it's like a plastic material. Here I'm going to show you, like, it's just plastic and you can uh, just easily wipe it off with floor wipes, with water and soap, with baby wipes. It doesn't wrinkle. Uh, I ordered it from a Dutch website and I think they only ship to the Netherlands and Belgium. Um, but I think Intuition Backgrounds is pretty good too. Uh, if they want to sponsor me with a background, please <laughs> feel free and then I'll test it and I'll review it. But I've never used an Intuition Background, but I heard that in the US that's really good. Anyway, I yeah, here I have the floor wipes, the baby wipes, the plastic bags, towels and bubbles. Um, here I have the cake. So I'm going to lift the cake out of the box and get it ready. <coughs> Unicorn cake. And I still have to put the ears on the cake and the actual horn. So here we go. This one has to be on the top. Here's the cake. And you can see that I still have to put the ears on as well. So the ears and the horn are made from fondant. He wears the middle of the eyes. Middle of the cake, like this. I don't think there's a left or right ear. Uh, let me see, something like this. And then the other. We've got the cake already. I just finished the cake smash session and uh, now I'm here in the studio I have a little bit over an hour until the next session so I'm gonna head out and get a sandwich in a few minutes but first I thought I would paint this basket I bought it yesterday at a shop called action and red. It was quite cheap. Uh, I don't like the color that much. Um, but I was just thinking, I have this green wooden background, which I painted, and I've shown in another video how I made it. So please go to that video uh, if you want to see how I made it. But anyway, I've used this paint to paint the wood, and I thought I have a lot less left. It's chalk paint. I will just paint this one as well and then uh, it has time to dry and hopefully I can use it during a newborn session, place the baby inside. Ooh. And then uh, take a photo from the top on the green wood as well. So it's all matching. Um, I think it's also cute for a sitter session. I'm going to do my spring minis this Sunday. Um, I will have like a white background with a green garland in the back. And I have like a green little chair and a green little uh, bed for the older kids to sit on. But I know I also have some kids coming in around eight, nine months old. Um, so then they can sit in this basket and it'll, it'll be the same color green. So I have my paintbrush here, it's from Annie Sloan. Um, this is just cheap chalk paint and I'm gonna go and paint it.
show you the result here we go this is what it looks like now I'm gonna head out and buy myself a sandwich so it has some time to dry and then I might be able to use it later but I think for a sitter session it would be super cute as well I love it okay so I just finished my lunch I think the basket is dry um, the girl who's coming in today is three weeks old today and her parents like earthy tones and um, some pink and some peachy colors, purple, stuff like that. But I'm gonna ask them if they also like the green color and then we can probably try it out today. So I'm excited. I'm just gonna change the backdrop and then I'm ready. So here we go. The paint is dry, as you can see. It's dry, it's dry. So, um, Let's see what it looks like when we put it on the floor. Because it should be the same color. Here we go. Wow, that looks cool. I love it. So it's painted with the same paint. Of course, different material. It looks really cool. I like it. So I love this setup with the little blankets. I would have a posing pillow underneath for her head. This little wrap to wrap the baby. And this little headband. Very pretty. I think it looks really cool together. So I didn't film it when she was in the basket. But uh, she was in there uh, wide awake. She was actually wide awake during almost the entire session. Uh, and she wanted to be nursed most of the time um, so we just spent some time taking awake photos we waited for her to fall asleep but she didn't really fall asleep but that was okay we still have beautiful photos of the little girl in here um, so next time i'm going to use it probably during a sitter session so i'm excited for that well hello today it's a new day it's actually the next day uh, i'm in the studio again i have two cake smash sessions today and one sitter session and during the sitter session i definitely want to use my new basket so the sitter session is with the boy he's bringing his big brother as well so i'm definitely hoping on using the new basket during that sitter session but anyway i thought i would just show you my decor for today as well for the cake smash session decor for the first cake smash session um here we have uh, the cake for the first cake smash session and um, yeah, after the portrait photos, I'm going to remove the little bench of the latest one. And we're going to do a photo of this boy who's coming in and his big brother as well. Then uh, he's going to get the cake and then the bath top. So I'm going to get the bath top ready. Yeah, as you can see, I've added the basket in my decor as well. Because the boy's already one year old. Like he's 13 months. Most cake smash kits are 10 or 11 months because then the parents want to use the photos for the invitation for their first birthday. But anyway, he, or, he already turned one, um, so he might be walking, and um, which means that he will only sit on there for like one second before he starts standing up and walking away. So then I might ask the mother if she likes him to sit in this little beautiful green ball, which is of course new and I want to use it, um, in between the balloons and everything. I think it's really cute. Because it kind of matches as well, as far as colors. So I'm just going to put it on the side for here now. And then hopefully we can use it as well for some portrait photos. So here you have the decor of the cake smash session. And here's the beautiful cake with the name of the girl on it. Okay, so 
so I just finished uh, both cakes my sessions and during both cakes my sessions I got to use my new painted basket and I actually really love the way it turned out in the purple decor because I think purple and mint green really look nice together and the girl was very active so um, yeah when she was sitting in the basket she was actually sitting still for a few seconds which helped with the portrait photos. I also took some portrait photos of her without the basket, but I think it really added a, a little bit of uh, color and looked really nice. And during the first cake smash session, I also got to use it. So now I'm gonna have a little break. I have one hour. I'm gonna set up for my sitter session. It's a little boy and he's bringing his big brother as well. So I'm gonna take at least one or two photos with the brothers together and then just some sitter session photos of the little boy and of course I'm gonna use my new basket because I think it's perfect for a sitter session uh, especially like um, with the soft neutral colors and then uh, I have a little blanket inside just to let you know I have two Instagram accounts um, one is my official uh, photography page um, so it is called Wonder Photography so this is my uh, photography page and then I have another account which is called Fena and Photography. And you have more like behind the scenes images, like some pullbacks of the course um, and stuff. So this is my Fena and Photography account. And so for example, today I posted this one of my two decors and me making the paper banner so yeah if you want to follow me on instagram you can and i have two accounts so now i'm gonna set up for the sitter session here we have a setup for the sitter session here we have the setup for the sitter session uh, there we have another basket which we can use on this backdrop and then here is the last decor for the sitter session so i have three now in total i'm just gonna get some outfits ready or at least reorganize this mess since we might go to ikea later today i thought it would be a good idea to open up these clothing hangers this that looks a lot better so I have like these little outfits that the parents can choose from and this is all for the sitter session I recently ordered a few more from Zara but I think I have some options now for the parents that looks nice so here we have some hats some flat caps, little bow ties, some other hats, then the outfits. And now I have a bunch of shorts that will be somewhere here underneath. Like I have six pairs of shorts. Where am I going to put those? Here you see the other side, all the outfits. And then here I have my six shorts. I just changed it up a little bit. Um, for now I have this set up. I might change it again in a few minutes.
for the DIY basket paint super easy <laughs> look at the back um, tutorial video uh, I've used it during a newborn oh my hair So I've used it during a newborn session, two cakes my session and a sitter session, all in two days. Um, so now I'm gonna edit. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please like, subscribe, leave comments. And then I'll see you in the comments and you'll see me in my next video. Bye bye.